I think one of the major risks that we see our, cus our customers not really appreciating or giving enough time to is actually the complexity of managing their security portfolio. And that creates risk because where there's you know um, complexity, there's misunderstanding of how incidents of things might happen. And that's something that we think customers really need to get a better grip around. And there are certainly some technologies out there that can help them do that. What you need to do is, is to create a standardized platform of tools and also make sure that your teams are equipped and engaged correctly so that then when they see threats they can make the correct correlations. As well as that, I think it's important for organizations to look to companies like Symantec who have a vast semantic, or sorry, security intelligence and leverage that in their environments. So really partner with companies like us to benefit from our knowledge. Well, it's starting to get better and better, to be honest with you. If you open up the papers these days, um, you can see organizations that are being breached. Uh, and they are, you know, a lot of times are financial motives. So people are being very careful um, and they want to protect the crown jewels. So, yeah, it's getting better and better. You know, um, you know you're going to be breached. You know, it's not a matter if you get breached, but it's a matter of when you get breached. And be prepared for that, you know. And, and, and you, if you know that you're going to get breached, make sure that you find it. Because once it gets in, it's hard to get out. Uh, most organizations take cybercrime very seriously. But we also feel that they uh, tend to underestimate the, uh, the dangers of uh, cybercrime and they tend to underestimate how cybercrime has evolved over the past years. Uh, our security labs, have uh, the research have indicated that uh, malware has increased on websites approximately 600% over the past year. But 85% of that is on uh, hosts with a good reputation. So reputation filters don't work and also malware tends to execute much later, that makes uh, traditional sandboxing techniques uh, really uh, ineffective. To my opinion, the, the first, uh, the first uh, tip, the first problem is to know all your assets and, uh, and that's not that trivial. Uh, then, of course, uh, know their security level, it's, uh, it's very important and uh, we see that uh, organizations are mature on network and uh, systems, but not as mature on the uh, web applications. Uh, and we see that most attacks come on this web application layer. So, well, the, the biggest tip would be uh, to automate the security of your web applications uh, by combining detection of vulnerabilities and filtering so that their security becomes just easy and uh, effective. It's of course again the patching, it's uh, again the, uh, the problems with the uh, creating of that policy and also the uh, problems related to uh, online banking Trojans. Uh, this is something we see over here in Belgium a lot. We see a lot of e-cops ransomware, we see a lot of problems uh, related to online banking Trojans and these are things which could be handled in a very good way as well. So the, um, the challenge has been organized really to help our customers and partners understand what it's like to be an attacker and to be able to take their mindset and flip it away from the defensive uh, perspective that they normally have and turn more to an, uh, an attacker's mindset and that way they'll better be able to protect themselves and their organization. Well, we've seen some um, phenomenal um, guys actually in there taking part in the challenge and we've seen some of our flags going really, really quickly, which I think is a really good strong sign and it's a testament to InfoSec and the actual day itself that you get this caliber of security experts at, at an event like this.